When a task comes in through email, it can be hard to keep track of what needs to be done. Oftentimes that email will go to a point where you have to scroll to get to it. If you're someone who's using Outlook tasks or is thinking about using Outlook tasks, did you know that there's a way to turn that email into a task? That can be an amazing tool to be able to keep track of what needs to be done in your inbox. I'll show you how to turn an Outlook email into a task today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to turn an Outlook email into a task. The reason I want to show you this is I've heard so many clients say that they lose track of what they need to do because it goes down and down and down in their inbox and they don't remember to scroll to find it. By using Outlook Tasks, which also syncs with Microsoft To Do, you can keep track of all of those emails that have things that need to be done. And the bonus is that you can set a reminder. By having a reminder, we can set the time that we expect to work on that task, and then it's no longer lost, it is scheduled for a specific time and day. There are multiple ways to turn an email into a task. You can have a task that has the words from the email. You can have a task that has the email as an attachment, or you can have a situation where you take it out of the inbox and create a task from it. I don't recommend that third option unless you get really into this and you get used to it because it does remove the email from the inbox in that case. I'll show you how to do all three options right now. Here we are in our Outlook inbox. Yours may look a little bit different if you have switched to the new version of Outlook. This is still in the older version of Outlook, but everything should work the same. First, you need to identify which email needs to be turned into a task. I will choose this one here. And the next step that you do is you click on the email and you're going to drag it up to the tasks area. Now, before I do this, I'll show you where that is. In the upper left, you want to go right up here to where you see the clipboard with the check mark on it. That is your tasks icon. If we do a left click on our mouse and drag up to that, when I hover there, you can see that there's a little tiny box right underneath my mouse arrow, moving it around so that you can see that. Once I let go, it will create the task and open it up for me so that I can see it. And it's going to put the subject line of the email as the subject of the task. You can change that. And it's going to default to putting all of the words, everything that's contained in that email now becomes a part of this task. From there, it's up to you what you want to fill out. There's a whole video on Outlook tasks that can give you more information about all the different features. Today, we're just looking at how to create a task from an email. Now, if you're someone who is distracted by all the wording that came straight from the email, then maybe you want to have the email as an attachment. We'll look at that next. To create your task with the email as an attachment instead of the words, you want to right click on this email. And if you have a flat mouse, it may be a double finger tap. You're gonna right click and you're gonna drag it up to that same place, that tasks icon. And it looks exactly the same, but when I let go this time, now it gives me options. You see those in the upper left. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more? If so, you can click the subscribe button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. I can choose to copy here as task with text. That's what we saw the first time. That's what it defaults to. I could choose to copy here as task with attachment, which is what we're going to do in a minute. And then I could choose to move here as task with attachment. That is to remove the email from the inbox, create the task. The email will also be an attachment in the task, but the email will no longer exist in the inbox. That's why I say this is really for people who are a little more advanced in this. So I would recommend doing one of the first two to either copy here as task with text 
or copy here as task with attachment. Let's see what the attachment looks like. And now you can see it has the exact same thing. The subject line becomes the subject of the task. Again, that's changeable. And then now our email is an attachment instead. To get to that, I can double click on it and it opens the email itself. And the email is still living in the inbox. Now we'll look at our last option, which takes the email out of the inbox and creates the task with the email as an attachment. So let's pay attention to what this is called. This is our Microsoft updates to terms of use because I want to show you when this disappears. So I'm going to do that right click again, right click, drag up to the tasks, let go. You'll have your options again. This one is move here as a task with attachment. Now what I wanna show you is in the background, we'll pull this down, that email is now gone. The email only exists as an attachment here in my task. Again, I can double click on it to open it up, but this is where it lives. If you accidentally do this and you want that email to show up in your inbox after all, you can click it from the task, drag it over to the inbox. You'll see a little box with a plus sign and you can let go. It will drop it back into your inbox. So there is a way to undo that piece if you need to. So now you can see it looks exactly like the one we just looked at where we copied to a task with attachment. However, it originally removed it from the inbox and then we chose to move it back into the inbox just in case we need it. So that is how you can create a task from an email. When I was working in the corporate world, I used this tool all the time. Anytime I had an email that I needed to follow up on, or if it was going to be something that I needed to refer to week after week, I was going to make follow-up phone calls, I would turn that email into a task. I would actually choose to save my email in a folder that maybe would have been pending or something like that or working on. And then that task became my location where I would keep notes and then I would change the reminder date to each time that I needed to follow up with a client. I hope that this tool can be as useful to you as it was to me and feel free to put any questions you have in the comments below. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call by clicking on the heart in the monitor that's above me now or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, and you can click on the Let's Talk button to schedule your time. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.